Parliament's Communications Committee is meeting again tomorrow to try and resolve the matter of the delayed appointment of an SABC board. There have been clashes about whether any names should be removed from those submitted to President Sir Ramaphosa. Now, this includes that of SABC's former head of news, Patiswa Makopeni. ANC MPs are now calling for the Communications Portfolio Committee, which interviewed and selected candidates for the new board, to reconsider the names it recommended. Let's speak to DA MP Diane Collabarnot on this particular matter. Mr. Collab Ms. Collabarnot, thank you very much for your time this morning. You know, the delay in appointing the board was attributed to the president consulting on two or three candidates he was uncertain about. We now know, of course, through reports that Patiswa Makobeni is among those there were concerns about. And the reason advances that her appointment would be in conflict with the King report on good governance as per Minister Nchaveni's advice. Where does the committee stand on this? Well, it's been very bizarre. Um, the subcommittee had been disbanded and was promptly reconstituted on Monday. We met on Tuesday evening. We had a normal committee meeting all morning. We met on Tuesday evening, and that meeting went on until midnight with no resolution. Now, um, the Speaker of the National Assembly, when uh, receiving a letter from the President saying he was concerned because... Um, there was a list of 12 and then also three additional members uh, who would uh, be called on to fill in should any of the 12 not take up their position, all in a ranked order. Um, and the speaker said, please just disregard uh, the, the pool, as it mm -hmm. were, of three. And there is the list of 12. You have that. But what was but the thought process? Guess, Apologies for interjecting. There. What was the thought process around this reserve pool? Because as we understand it, having gone through media monitoring's answering affidavit, the Broadcasting Act does not provide for such. No, it does not. Um, but many committees uh, which, which appoint board members and, and to other entities uh, have a, a pool. For example, in this case, the people have to be vetted. And that indeed took a very long time. So if, for example, the board was announced and one of the people said, well, actually, you know, it's been nearly five months now, I've taken another job, I don't have time, we would have a person who could fill in. Mm -hmm. uh, or, you know, some terrible eventuality, like one of them died. We would have the net, without having to go through the entire process all over again and get a new person vetted and go through everything else. So we thought it was logical to do that, but most certainly did not suggest that that, that reserve pool should in some way uh, have an impact on the list of 12, the ranked list of 12 that we put to the National Assembly and that was voted in unanimously uh, in the National Assembly. Mm -hmm. Now, I want to take you back to that meeting of Tuesday where you guys sat until midnight. Mm -hmm. The views around Minister Nchaveni, uh, she quoted Principle 7 in the King 4 report, which speaks of independence of a board member requiring mm -hmm. a panel to scrutinize whether the member of the board has been in the employ of an organization as an executive manager during the preceding three financial years or is, re or is a related party to such executive manager. I mean... Should that preclude a candidate? Because here it seems the conversation is about whether can the Broadcasting Act be substituted by the King Report. The Broadcasting Act is legislation. Where did you all, did you find each other on this particular matter around uh, the consideration of the King Report? What I'm seeing is it's just, a, to use the phrase, a foofy put up there. Um, our advocate Jenkins has advised this committee from day one. Any time an issue was raised about a conflict of interest or any other matter, he would look into it, he would clarify it, he would give us the relevant legal prescripts. Now, the King Advocate Jenkins said on Tuesday evening, the King 4 report was in no way relevant to the board appointments, no way at all. He said the 12 whose, whose names had been voted in in the National Assembly now had a reasonable expectation that the process had been concluded and they would now be on the board. Mm -hmm. uh, the King report um, ha has nothing to do with any of that. It, it's, it re relates to subcommittees um, which the board may then set up. And, of course, you know, the lists that we looked at, we had a whole... Uh, 
plethora of, of categories we had to we had to satisfy the expertise the experience media law etc cetera, etc cetera. so it, it was all taken into consideration through a very very thorough process and now these little obstacles have been popped up because of course of the issue of them booting Patiso out of the SABC at the time. Mm -hmm. Now, media monitoring and others have maintained that the process to appoint a new board was poorly managed, even on the side of Parliament, saying the Speaker shouldn't have only forwarded the names to the President two months after the board's term had come to an end. Your views on just the management on the side of Parliament on this one? Look, I was only put onto this committee late last year. And the day after I was put on, uh, I went onto the subcommittee and I received a very long list of names and I was given overnight uh, to shortlist that and then to take it to my caucus the next day. So it was at that stage a very rushed process. However, they had known uh, for five years the day on which the board would be dissolved. Exactly. Uh, come to the end of its term. They knew this. And yet they left it and left it and left it, and they only started calling uh, for for nominations sometime in July, I think. And eventually, uh, it we managed to to hustle it through, and it, it still arrived after the board had closed down. Uh, but it was put through in the National Assembly and adopted unanimously on the sixth of December. Then, of course, it was sent through to the president. And they dithered and dithered and did nothing and did nothing. And then only in January they said, oh, we'd like to see the police, the various clearance certificates. They had to go through various processes in terms of state security. Uh, that was sent to them. The CVs were sent to them. And and now suddenly we find out that the then minister, who she's no longer the minister of communications, uh, had written and raised this issue of the King Four report, which has nothing to do with the appointment of the board at all, as we have been advised by the advocate. Mm -hmm. And then just so, in closing, apologies yes. for interjecting there, just in closing, does the president actually have the power to reject the names forwarded to him? Because this is something that will be ventilated in court, again raised in media monitoring's papers. He, he absolutely does not. It is not a discretion. He is really it's a rubber stamp exercise. Um, he, he has to take what the National Assembly has voted on, and those are the members. It's very clear. Those are the 12 members. Um, and the, the um, speaker just said, well, there's the list of 12. Ignore the pool. They're not relevant to this process. But they're, the ANC seem to now have a bit between the teeth. They're saying, oh, well, they're interchangeable. Let's just take the pool and, and throw some of the other members out. Uh, that cannot be done. It has been passed in the National Assembly. And they say, oh, well, if we have to take the three out, we've changed the resolution, so we might as well change the list. So that is what they're after, and I'm sure that the court will see it absolutely differently, and that board must be announced. And we cannot leave this for another five months, because it's nearly five months now they've been without a board, and the work is stacking up, and uh, nobody... Nobody can deal with it except mm. for the board of the SABC. Ms. Diane Collabana, thank you very much for your time this morning. That was DAMP Diane Collabana.